What's up guys, Techflash here and I'm here with a exciting and a shocking news from Huawei. Basically, Huawei and Google have suspended their business operations, which means that Huawei will no longer be using Android as their main operating system. Now the story is huge and I will explain it bit by bit. According to Reuters, basically a source cites that Google was forced into suspending business with Huawei that requires the transfer of hardware and software products. Basically, US government is stopping Google from doing any kind of business with Huawei. And this will mean that Huawei will no longer be using Google Play Store or any Google services in their Android handsets, which means that no longer any Huawei phone will come with Google Play Store or any other Google service. It also means that there will be no Android security patches, at least from Google, uh, which you will get on Huawei's side. Now, I don't know what that means for Huawei flagship devices, and I hope that it does not mean that there will be no security updates for any of those devices. Google took this action under the US Commerce Department announcement, which was done on Wednesday, which put Huawei and six other affiliates on so-called entity list. It's a, it is a trade blacklist, which means that no US company will be able to trade with these uh, companies without approval from US government. This list also contains ZTE, which is also a Chinese manufacturer, and it also prohibits any US company to trade with ZTE or Huawei. Now, this means Huawei will no longer be using any version of Google's Android. Now, you know, Android is an open source operating system. That means if Huawei wants to, they can make their own Android system and provide their own security updates, but that will be entirely different from what Google was doing. Also, this means that Huawei will be able to now use their own app store to promote their apps. But this is a very gray area because right now many top applications which includes Facebook, Snapchat and all those applications which we use in our daily life are actually coming from US. So maybe it means that we will no longer be able to use those applications on our Huawei devices. Now only time will tell uh, whether this dispute will be settled or not, but things are not looking quite good. Also, this could lead to a full-scale war between countries, and I'm not talking about the physical war, I'm talking about the e-commerce war where China is going to ban all the US entities and US going to ban all the Chinese entities. And you have to remember the fact that top 10 list of mobile manufacturers has quite some Chinese manufacturers on the list. In fact, Huawei is supposed to become the number one seller of smartphones this year, followed by Samsung, Apple, and then there is Oppo, Vivo, Xiaomi. All the big brands which are selling mobile phones these days appear to be either Chinese or either using components made in China. So this is going to devastatingly affect the mobile phone industry and tech industry as a whole. Huawei was supposed to launch Honor 20 series, which is from their sub-brand. And uh, now after this news, it may appear that that mobile phone either will be delayed or will come with an Android version which is not made by Google. So this is a developing story and if you want to know more about the story, do subscribe to the channel as I will be posting more videos about this topic. I hope you like this video and do subscribe and like this video. Uh, see you in the next video.